Hello guys, so uh, yeah, I'm Kirtar, I'm gonna play some Blazing Chrome for you. Uh, and uh, with me I have one of the composers behind this game. Yeah, I'm Dominic. I helped out make some of the music. Yeah, so. super cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had a bit war going on uh, during ESA, so uh, uh, where you could pick which uh, character I'm gonna uh, play as in this. So yeah, we're gonna play as Mavra. Uh, there really isn't any difference other than like aesthetically, right? Y yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They have the same hitbox, I think, and everything. Yeah. 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 They should. Yeah. Uh, I hope. So yeah, that's Mavra. Uh, so this is Doyle, which is, was the other character you could pick, but we're gonna go with Mavra, because that's what you donated for, so thanks for all those donations, really cool of you. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get to the mission screen here, and time starts when it fades to black after I pick the mission, so I'm gonna try to count down, like, kind of accurately, so in three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's play some chrome. So you have iframes on uh, rolling and you can also punch people when you're close to them. Uh, so we're gonna pick up a shield bot here. Uh, let's uh, take two hits. So just like in normal, like this is... Whoops. <laughs> Timed that a little bit wrong there, but that's okay. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> that guy really is in the way. Okay. Very cool. So we have this weapon, which is the plasma rifle, which we lost now because we died. Unfortunately. But it's a really good weapon. It like tears through all these enemies in one shot, pretty much. Uh, now we're gonna have to uh, resort to the normal machine gun here, which is a bit slower, but it's okay. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit safe here. Sure, we get through here. Yeah. So we get a bunch of iframes when we die, unfortunately. And uh, we're gonna pick up this speed bot here, which makes us go faster and also get a double jump, which is really helpful. Uh, so here's the first mini boss of the game. Uh, so now we have the green launcher here, which I picked up earlier. Should speed this fight up a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna get some help here from our good friend. <laughs> hey, bro. You just call him Hey, bro, because that's we don't know. His yeah, that's name. his unofficial official name. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're gonna use this mech here. If we still had the uh, like the, the the weapon that we got in the beginning, mm -hmm. we would be just skipping this mech and just running through here, just shooting everything. But we cannot do this for safety because. Can't yeah. really do it with the green launcher, unfortunately. So, yeah. It's pretty yeah. much just an old scholar. There we go. Rip pay, bro. Oh, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. So, yeah. But we do get our P weapon back here, yeah. unfortunately, before the boss. So, let's pick that up. Because this is insanely powerful compared to all the other weapons. If we spam spam our uh, spam the yeah. shoot button, uh, if you get close, then you uh, hit them instead. But it's pretty much the same damage. Sort of Very thing. rarely, it's like uh, worth it to charge it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very few uh, instances. Instances where you can do that. So best DPS if you just yeah. spam it. Not too fast because you have to do it in a certain rhythm. Get it right. Okay. So here we're gonna just shoot the head until it staggers, and we can uh, hit the heart. <laughs> so let's gonna do this a couple more times. There we go. That's the first mission down. Nice. All right. So. Uh, the thing about the beginning of this game is uh, you have four missions to choose from. You can do them in any order you want. Uh, we're gonna do this in a, a specific order be 
uh, depending on what gear you have. Uh, so now we have the best counter gear we want, so we're gonna go with Misha 3. Mm. We really want to have both the, this weapon and uh, the speed buff for this part. So yeah, since you... Uh, speed bottle makes you go fast, so that's what that's the one we want for most of the run. Pump this guy is okay. Alright. Can be a bit tricky to dodge those, but alright. And since we have the speed bot, we can just jump over this turret. <laughs> so really nice. Have to shoot this one though. There we go. Shoot this one too before we move on. Okay, a little bit safe here. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. I'm gonna kill these guys because if I if I move on here, they're gonna be stuck behind the these things here, so we can shoot them. So just doing that for a little bit of safety. Alright, right, just for depth on them. That's fine. There we go. Fun fact about the uh, the iframes in the roll, that wasn't a thing when the game was uh, released. Yeah. So did you have to do like a bit of rerouting after that was a thing? Uh, well, when they added the iframes, <laughs> it made some things much easier. So yeah. we we're very thankful for that. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Also, rolling is like the fastest way to move. So yeah. It's like double. Now it's double good <laughs> compared to. <before. laughs> Oh, I don't want that. Uh, so pick up this weapon. We're gonna use it on the on the end boss of this uh, stage. But right now we have this uh, spider for the mini boss during this escalator scene. Let's see. Okay. Oops. That's fine. Alright, so here comes the part that I think everybody hates when they, yeah. when they play yeah, I think game. it's one certain enemy. <laughs> like yeah. Even people who casually play it hate it. So, <laughs> these dog enemies are the worst. They won't stop chasing you and they yeah. jump really weird and stuff, so... They're, yeah. They're a little bit faster than you when you don't have the speed bots, so this is kind of awkward. I think we're fine. Okay. Normally I don't pick up this mech, uh, but since we don't have any good gear, we're just gonna blast through here with this. Mm. Oh, okay. As far as we do it at least. So. Let's just force our way through here. Mm. As long as we get up here, we should be fine. And now we're on the on the boss of this this mission. Uh, so there's gonna be like two of those eyes up there, which we're gonna uh, destroy and then occasionally there's gonna be some uh, uh, like worms coming out from these holes in the corners which we're oh yeah, gonna try to shoot them as fast as possible that's one eye that's two eyes okay so now we just have to worry about these the eyes uh, or uh, worms rather uh, so when you destroy one of them occasionally uh, there will like be acid shooting out of the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, you, after you kill one of those, uh, after you kill them, they're gonna start shooting acid at you instead. So. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So now we're on the last phase. And now we're actually gonna use the whip uh, weapon here, which you normally don't use on any boss, but it's really convenient here because you can kind of waggle it like this to mm. hit him while you're under the yeah. okay, Slap. There nice. you go. <laughs> You made it look really easy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of easy, like... Uh, it's not hard to, to learn, but yeah, yeah it, it can look pretty... Uh, pretty scary to move under him like that. But yeah, that's two missions down. There's a total of six missions in this game. So, kind of 33% through. Um, so here we go, go on to mission four. Uh, fortunately, there's a bunch of uh, refills we can do here. Speed a little bit. Oh, okay. 
I think this is safe here, so I don't lose this. Okay. So another Mina Balls. He's down. Alright, so we're gonna get another one of those uh, key weapons right here. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. We do get another uh, speed bot uh, right here, so it's not a big deal dying there. Just hope I don't lose all my survives. <laughs> so here's another uh, cool mini boss. Um, I'm gonna do a strat called a drop, uh, stop, drop, and roll. So you're gonna stop here, drop, and roll, and you nice. Before the patch, you just had to duck and shoot and then yeah, you yeah, win. Yeah. <laughs> you don't disrespect me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a pretty um, easy exploit in the very beginning of the game. But then yeah, they you patched just, it out. Yeah, you could just crouch down and yeah. not get hit by anything. But yeah, now you have to like kind of manipulate this movement by moving back now and forth. Now you have to put like in that. a little bit of effort. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're actually like in the. Uh, oh, well, here's another mini boss. Uh, he's, he's gone. This uh, this weapon is just too good. <laughs> just melts all the yeah. bosses pretty much. Yeah, we get all our stuff back. So I'm gonna move vertically up here. Double jumps. Good. And here's another mini boss. So I'm just gonna shoot down here. I shouldn't have to move. There we nice. Go. <laughs> all right, so. Going into a really cool looking auto scroller here. Uh, if I just keep this in the middle, then I should be able to hit like almost everything coming at me if I just line up. A little bit better, I think, here. Uh, but yeah, uh, not much to talk about here. Just keep shooting all the all the things coming at you. Uh, you can speed it up a little bit by killing them as fast as possible. Yeah. And stuff here. You can dash around like this to move faster. And uh, yeah, actually, some of the uh, some of the guys of our community actually have some questions for you, uh, Dom. Oh, okay. Whoops, I <laughs> died. So, hang on. So, um, everybody, well, everybody can agree that this music is. Rips. It's so good. <laughs> so we were on wondering if you're gonna release the soundtrack on like Spotify or Bandcamp or any other platform. Um, since the mu music is made by uh, not just me but also by Thiago Santos, um, there's been a little, little bit of problem how we're gonna figure out how we're gonna release it since it's two musicians. Um, last thing I talked about it was I talked with. Uh, the main developer, and then we're gonna talk with uh, the publisher and see if we can try to figure out something. But it's still kind of up in the air. Yeah, I, um, I know it's kind of annoying that it's <laughs> not been <laughs> digitally released. Um, I wish I could just release it, but I don't wanna, you know, um, just release it under my name. And I haven't really figured out how we're gonna, um, in a easy way, split the the uh, the profit of the selling because I mainly use Bandcamp and Bandcamp is not very intuitive in its revenue sharing at all. It doesn't really allow it. So, um, yeah, I'm still kind of new to this whole business part. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I just don't I don't want to make any mistakes and I don't want to, uh, you know. So we're we're I'm trying we're trying to figure it out. Um, hopefully, if I can't promise anything, but hopefully if, if it goes well, maybe we'll see the soundtrack on Steam or something similar like that um, through yeah, the yeah. publisher. But yeah, I'll still need to ask them a little bit more about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see. It's good to know that like it's in the works. Yeah. Uh, more or less. So yeah, that was the last boss of this mission, by the way. Yeah. Not much. Kind of a pushover, actually. Like. Uh, we usually call him Krillin, and I, I, I call him Krillin because he he sometimes he will the destructive disc yeah. just before he explodes and dies. Yeah. So, yeah. 
All right, so that's mission four. And now we have mission two here. The last mission before we can move on to mission five and six. Mm. Uh, so this is <laughs> another auto scroller. Uh, but yeah, we can. Yeah, if you play like Contra 3 or Contra uh, Hardcore, I think has a section like this. Uh, riding a bike and shooting enemies coming at you. So, pretty cool homage to those games. Uh, yeah, not much going on. You can kind of speed it up by shooting, like killing these uh, enemies as fast as possible to uh, let the next wave of enemies come out. Right, so I actually have another question from the community. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's excited about Moon Rider, which is the next uh, <laughs> game coming out from Toy Master. So, how's the work coming out along in that? If you can share any info or. Uh, it's going pretty well. Um, I've made a handful of tracks already, um, and there are some of them are already. Um, there are some of the preview versions already up and on Toy Master's website or YouTube channel. Better. Um, but yeah, um, it's coming along. I'm like, try I'm working around the same, you know, when I have new material to look at, yeah. new areas, when I get inspired and I start working on the next track. So, like that. But it's slightly, uh, ooh, thanks, Pepsi Man. <laughs> uh, it's slightly um, very different sound from, from the soundtrack. So I'm going for more of a Techno, dark techno y uh, sound with some uh, like Japanese uh, folk instruments. Alright, cool. So. Yeah. Uh. yeah, that sounds. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. <laughs> that sounds great. That's a, thanks, Pepsi Man, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wonder if you'll get mad if I actually drink it. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so now we're out of the artist color section. Uh, now we just have to move along this uh, thing. Oh, there's one more wave here. Um, this is mostly like a section of like, small arenas where you have to like shoot all the, kill all the enemies before you can move on. So, take them out as fast as possible so we don't have to wait too long for the next mm. wave. go, extra life, I feel like we <laughs> kind of need them. Don't have a lot left, but here comes the first mini boss on this train. Um, I think it was Dr. Robo, uh, another runner of this game, who lovingly called this boss the eyeball wall ball monster. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's just, fitting. I can kind of see why, I guess. <laughs> really good name. So let's take two. Here, before he shoots the laser, and shoot with that previous in here. This is bad. There you go. Right, so from now on, we're not gonna make much use of the speed bot anymore. Uh, as I said, there's mostly like, a, mostly a, just a bunch of like arenas here. I don't really care about dying there. I changed away from my uh, weapons, yeah. so I don't lose it here. But, okay. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna get the uh, previous spot here to be able to take two hits if we get hit here. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So, uh, so it's very nice to have one shield here at least, so you can take. Right. Okay, that's good. That's not good. Don't, don't shield me. There we go. So that's the last mini boss before the final boss here in, on this mission. And uh, hopefully we can kill him before uh, he finishes his second attack. Uh, we do have a shield here. Some of these attacks are kind of hard to like dodge, but when we have one shield here, we should be able to. Okay, he's really nice. Sometimes he shoots one of those bullets in the middle, mm. so you have to like get out of the way, but now we can just stand right below him and keep shooting. 
And yeah, that's mission two. Nice. So now we only have two missions left. We're really blazing through this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> The next mission is the hardest one, you would say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. And it starts off with another auto scholar. Yeah. Uh, kind of um, is part of this genre, though, in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I know speedrunners don't really like auto scrollers generally, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These ones are pretty cool, anyway, so. You can still speed them up by killing the enemies quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's still some strats involved, yeah. so. And also. Although I'm kind of bad at remembering placement of some some of these uh, waves, but usually not a big problem. Uh, there we go. Drop some bombs here. We gotta jump over the fire. And here's some. Uh, if you play Battle Toads, you probably recognize mm. uh, this kind of like, turbo tunnel uh, jump over the obstacle uh, segment. Yeah, this is much easier <laughs> than Battle Toads, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. So it's gonna take care of some of these flying guys. And then we're gonna get to our first mini boss. Just gonna come on in from the right here. And he's really a pushover. He's not gonna even mm. attack us. There we go. <laughs> This weapon is just too powerful. There's another mini boss. Okay, nice. And oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Got hit there. Not a big deal. Kind of want to keep some shield uh, for a later part. Should be alright. There we go. Okay, let's get some more platform and then we're gonna get another boss. It's gonna be like this uh, robo bear, uh, bear coming at us from behind, so. But when we have this uh, P weapon, it should be alright. We just keep damaging it as much as possible. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're fine. There's some obstacles coming up there, but we kill him before we even have to worry about that. Alright. So off the older scholar part and we're gonna get there. Get to the unknown foot here. Oh whoops. Mm, this is kinda scary. I don't have the shit up here, but I guess I'll just take a breath here and use my friend. Oh. These guys are jerks. Ugh, dang. Okay, I got another. You got a life back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty lucky. Okay. Oh, okay. As long as you keep your plasma weapon, you should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so we pick up this mech here. It's really easy to get around some, some of these parts. I'm gonna wait around here to get that uh, defense spot, which is gonna come in handy later. Oh. So, yeah. This mech is really good. Like It's really nice to be able to dash like this. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, let's get run to the end here. Yeah. Eye frames from escaping the map. Yeah, 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 that's also really good. So we got this kind of mini boss here. Uh, this, this big laser. But as long as we stand right in the middle here, it's not gonna hurt us. I actually didn't know about this trick until uh, I watched the AGDQ run <laughs> of this. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> the funny thing, me too, actually. Yeah. I didn't know about that until I watched that run. Uh, yeah, it's really handy. Uh, but I hear uh, it's gonna get fixed in a future, future patch. Oh. So, I'm not gonna be able to cheese it. Yeah, I don't know. I think they should keep it. <laughs> yeah. That's also, that was a really. Usually die there really easily, but I got through without dying at all, so. That's pretty good. Okay. Oops. Oops. That's fine. We have one more life left. We should be fine. more dogs and then we get to the boss of this mission which is pretty easy when you have this weapon yeah. every boss <laughs> it goes for every boss the game is easy when you have this to go with this lamps on the ceiling there and then we're gonna kill the wall lamp 
Alright, I'm gonna get to the next best phase of this boss here. There's gonna be a big worm coming out from this yeah. acid here. There it is. So we charge up the weapon here. It's the most useful way to damage while he jumps over us. And okay, nice. We got the... Usually you can't kill him before he like uh, jumps the third mm. time, but we actually managed to deal enough damage to kill him the second time, so that's really good. Yeah, that's mission five done. Nice. Just one more mission. One more mission. Which is basically a boss gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad I'm gonna take this refill here. Defense spot here, just for some safety. Because we are, are at zero lives. So I'm gonna fight this mini robot here. Alright, let me see. Now his big bro is gonna come out. Yeah. So it's gonna stand here. And if you punch that grenade that he launches, he, uh, he just blows up. You get an achievement. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> if you hit it back at him, I think. There's like an oh, achievement okay. for that. Cool. So yeah, here's the last boss fight. So first yeah. we get a revisit from this guy, and then yeah. we uh, fought in the... In the fourth stage? Yeah, yeah. Precisely, so... He's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Okay, nice. He's very angry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, take care of his mini robot form, and now he jumps into the boat, big robot. He's gonna shoot with his, his hands. I was gonna throw out these uh, cubes or whatever shapes these are. Just gonna keep shooting them. There we go. Now we go into the virtual reality. And another auto scroller. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really cool. I like yeah. this. It's really cool. So we gotta watch out for these cubes. Some of them have enemies in them. to handle. There we go. Jump some spikes. Some more enemies here before we get to the end of this auto scholar because now we're gonna fight we're gonna fight ourselves. Doppelganger. But since she doesn't have the weapon that I have, it's kind of unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so, a quick work, quick work of that. Oop. So I have to do this again. There we go. Now back into the virtual reality. We go. So I have to do this again. It speeds up a bit, but that means we can do this. <laughs> can use the iframes to roll through. Spikes here. I don't have to, but it's cool. Probably doesn't work through those double. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> not worth trying. <laughs> yeah, not really. Well, I have, I have uh, like lots of shields, so could have tried, but whatever. Oh, I lost it. So <laughs> yeah, I want, I want to have like this one shield here, because. Uh, now we're gonna uh, get a ninja character here, uh, Doppelganger, so let's... Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And time is when he starts blowing up here. Time. Damn! Alright. That was a pretty solid run. Yeah. Just a little bit of a hiccup in the very beginning, but that's... It's a very intense part right in the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. the running <laughs> enemies at you. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't feel intense when you play it casually because you actually try to kill most of the enemies. But here, yeah. when you just run, they start piling up and it becomes like really intense because they yeah, keep yeah. following you. Yeah, for sure. They throw a lot of stuff at you in the yeah. beginning. So. All right. So, yeah, that's Blazing Chrome. Lucas back. Oh, it's... Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> you survived. Yeah. 
All right. Um, yeah. So yeah, we. I would like to play the credits for you, but uh, we might have some uh, problems with that copyright stuff. There might uh, be. I, I'm not sure because there is a licensed song in the credits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I. I encourage you to uh, look the. Uh, song up on like Spotify or yeah. uh, anywhere. It's uh, a really good song by Christine. Yeah. Highly recommend that artist. Very good. Yeah. I was a big fan of hers even before I knew that she was, uh, that they licensed out one of her tracks for the credits. So I was like really excited when I heard that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that is so good. Really good. All right. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess uh, we're done here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, have a fun rest of the marathon and guys keep donating it's for a really good cause and yeah enjoy the next run i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna take out the <laughs> look up what it's it's a weird oh i'm gonna give an attempt here to say this it's uh, uh the runner is jume tsubasa uh the game is called Rosenkreuz Stilette Freudenstachel. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I tried. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to that and uh, have fun. <laughs>